when did you start to get into music then? And what was like the first instrument you played? Um, fun story. So I was 10 years old, just nine going on 10. And I was in fifth grade or whatever it is. And I was like, you know what? My dad's like, just go band. We had piano in the house growing up. My mom was a musician and stuff like that, but she never really pushed mm -hmm. anything. And so what happened was I tried out for like the percussion section and mm -hmm. the teacher was like, you're not good enough to play the, like anything. Like your hands aren't good. You're just not you whatever, whatever. <laughs> and I was like, well, screw you too then. And then we ended up moving from Minnesota was where I lived out to California and started taking lessons and I was like okay maybe I can do this thing and so 10 or 11 I picked up and got my first drum kit and then the, literally the rest is history the, the first like couple years they're like they tried to force me to play I'm like no I don't wanna I wanna go outside and hang with my friends you know <clears throat> and then uh, enter like middle schools when I met my friend Colin he's a guitar player and we met in jazz bands so we're doing like you know it's all the jazz standards and I brought a yeah. double pedal and he's like what the fuck what is that dude that's crazy <laughs> I was like yeah yeah it's like I like rock you know metal stuff and so we bonded over that and then yeah the re literally the rest is history so I've been playing drums ever since and I probably played five six hours a day throughout high school and then I had a kid at 20 so not shortly after high school did I have a kid and that all thing took off and playing guitar for about 15 years now and same thing just a bit of everything piano guitar vocals bass you'll see like cool. can we hold on there's a rack full of guitars and basses right there nice so there you go yeah, fun time. So, yeah, the drums are by trade. I've actually been in, like, a bunch of different bands and done a cool bunch of cool stuff around the world with that. And, yeah, but guitar, everything else, just writing when I can. So, yeah, 10. It's been, what, 23 years now? Kind of crazy. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. we do. We have uh, – it's always weird when we – I mean, not weird. It's always fun when we talk to people that have, like, the musical background that do all this stuff, too. Um, like, TJ runs uh, – like a pretty well-known recording studio out here uh so and then we were kind of like we knew about each other from being from the same hometown and i was on um i do i sing and i play guitar i was on the voice a couple of years ago Sick. and so like when i was getting done with that i was like cool i really need to start putting out my own stuff and i was like what studio do i go to and he was like uh mine brother so literally <laughs> we yes i went there and recorded a whole ep there and after that him and i kind of just started hanging out more and took off from there now we've got this and but it's cool because you still have that musical aspect where i mean i've got a bunch of shows coming up like with my band and solo and he's awesome. recording bigger artists and like doing yeah. all this crazy cool. shit it's yeah it's it's a weird uh, there's a lot of musical and golf ties at tie <laughs> which is very very odd to yeah. me but also kind of pretty sweet i don't do too much yeah. playing anymore I, i'm a drummer too i started i was playing pots and pans and then i got my first drum set when i was four and then nice now i mostly i teach a lot of marching band drum line stuff and then yeah, there you go did that too yep this too. yeah yeah out there where you are i mean you're right by the heart of it there with chino hills on ayala and Dude, those yeah kids and then, are fucking phenomenal it's it like even when i was in high school those those particular kids at those schools were insane and you're like wgi yeah. and i'm like Everything was just like in. I'm like, dude. I'm like, I was at Carlsbad High School, you know, down by the, yeah, the ocean to the beach right. and everything. Yep. And I'm like, we we won. Uh, was it freshman year? We won championships that year with Roman festivals, whatever it was. And I was actually on base two, which was fun. Uh, and then I was snare captain from uh, fresh or sophomore year on. But it was the. I don't know what they put in the water up there, but it's something because there's no way <laughs> that those kids are coming in. You should see some of these kids. Yeah, Dude, they they're like, like 15 and just ripping so hard. You're like, how? I don't there's two of them. 100%. Those two they're schools, Ayala and Chino Hills, and every year for, for Winter Drumline, Scholastic, and then like BOA, like yeah. marching band, they yeah. are at the top. Well, I know at Chino Hills, obviously, those, those are the ball brothers like when they went there for yeah. basketball, but I also know that their marching program is like insane. Yeah. I mm -hmm. also just love, for whatever reason, I call them nerds, but only because i was being i was being a super nerd in high school doing musicals and singing my <laughs> ass off uh, so yeah that's super nerd i get it yeah yeah Not, it's a different nerdy. level of nerdery uh, like it. yeah but i love like watching those clips of like those high-end uh high schools or collegiate type marching bands that are doing you know like it's it's nuts the way that they're able to like control the sound and just, oh yeah. Dude, I was even I thinking like the other day, I'm like, all right, so we do golf. It's like hand-eye coordination. You've got stuff you got to focus on mentally, whatever. But I just thinking back, I'm like, how on earth did I march? How do you learn drill, <laughs> get your yeah. music, and then all put it all together in time for how long, you know, 15-minute show, 
four movements. Like it's, I'm like, how did I even remember how to do that stuff? <laughs> Crazy. I'm yeah. like, my brain cannot comprehend anymore. I'm like, no way is it happening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're starting, like, by the time this episode's airs, we'll have started this most recent season, and it's like, man, I've got, joining a percussion section this year, I think I've got five sixth graders going into seventh grade, and they are going to, we're figuring it out, how to carry a little flub drum and move feet, mm-hmm. and where one is. Shoes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah where one. That's a big they one. Literally do. There's some of them that have the Velcro shoes with the little lights in them still, and they're out there <laughs> Dude, carrying the flub. Dude, let's go. Come on, so I have that's to take sick. a break. I have to feed my Tamagotchi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, hey, let's make a comeback, man. I was like, you can't talk shit. They are making a comeback. So, <laughs> thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.